Okay, in scenario 4, we have uh, two objects traveling in opposite direction and they start at the same time. Okay, that means we have one object traveling from left to right and another one traveling from right to left. Okay, so we know that if they travel in the opposite direction, they will meet somewhere in between, right? And so in this question, a car left town A at AM. Okay, that means a car left A and travel towards town B. Okay, the car is going to the right. And the speed of the car is uh, 60 km per hour, okay? And at the same time, okay, the keyword at the same time, the, the lorry left town B and traveled towards town A. Okay, that means the lorry is moving from right to left. Okay? And at 11.30 am, the car and lorry were at 5 km apart after passing each other earlier. Okay? So that means there's a condition, right? The car and lorry pass each other earlier right that means when after the car and lorry meet each other right the car a continue moving and the lorry continue moving at 11 30 am the car will be somewhere here and the lorry is here okay and the distance between them is 85 km okay yeah 85 km apart okay do you know that the lorry is still moving to the left and the car is still moving to the right and the time at here is uh, at the time at here is uh, 11 30 a.m. Okay. Then the question also says that the car arrived at town B at 1 p.m. Okay. So uh, the car set off at a.m. and the car reached town B at 1 p.m. We can find the time taken for the car to travel from A to B, right? And to do that, we simply take uh, 1 p.m. minus away maybe minus away or 8 a.m. okay and we'll get a total of uh, 5 hours okay that means a car takes 5 hours to travel from A to B and we also know that, we also know that the speed of the car is 60 km per hour so 60 times 5 is 300 km and 300 km will stand for the total distance between A and B okay and uh, at 11 30 a.m. all right we know that the car is at this point right so 11 30 minus 8 a.m. we want to find the time taken for the car to travel from here to here so 11 30 minus 8 a.m. okay we will get a total of uh, 3 hour 30 minutes right which is 3.5 hour okay that means the car takes uh, 3.5 hours to travel from here to here and the uh, distance for between here and here we simply take the speed of the car which is 60 times 3.5 okay you will get a total of uh, 210 okay that means the car the distance from A and here is uh, 210 km okay and we also, know that the, we also know that the total distance is 300 right that means from here to here is 300 and from here to here is 210 so the remaining distance here will be 300 minus 210 right this equals to 90 right this is the remaining distance from here to here okay okay Next thing, we know that the lorry travel from B towards A, right? So at 11.30 a.m., we know that the lorry had traveled a total of 85 plus 90. Okay, this is the total distance that the lorry had traveled. Okay, so 85 plus 90 is equals to uh, 175 km. Okay, this is the distance that the lorry had traveled. And we know that the lorry took also three and a half hour right because at 11 30 a.m the lorry is here so 11 30 minus 8 a.m is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, three and a half hour okay so you simply take 175 divided by three and a half right that means you take a distance divided by the time you get a speed of the lorry okay and so when you press your calculator you will get a total of uh, 50 Okay, this one is the speed of lorry.
Okay, that means the lorry is uh, traveling at this speed, right? 50 km per hour. Okay, and so uh, what the question one? The question one, the time for the lorry to reach uh, town A, right? That means you want to find the time for the lorry to reach at here. Okay, so to do that, we need to find the total time for the lorry. So we simply take the total distance between A and B divided by the speed of the lorry. Okay, you'll get uh, 6 hours. Okay, that means the lorry takes 6 hours to travel from B to A. And to find the time, you simply take 8 a.m. plus 6 hours. Okay, and you will get uh, 2 p.m. Okay, okay, once again, you are not too sure, we draw a timeline. Okay, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. is 4 hours. And they want six hours, right? So you need another two hours and you'll, you'll reach uh, 2 p.m.